Africa, blowing across parts of Europe and the Americas. Five laps to go. So, in this era of um, inexplicably high weather conditions, imagine how tough it could be for some of these athletes. There has been talk about some of the events. That will go down in the next uh, couple of years. The next World Cup is in. That takes place in, in Qatar, Qatar 2022. in 2022. Before that, the Olympics in 2020. That's right. And so the front runners, it's um, hard to see past this three. But there's a strong run from the one remaining Ethiopian with four laps to go. Other than Mengesha. As a reminder, Techna Michael had pulled out. So it's Mengesha and Tesfai Helu. Halu looks set to challenge this front pack, and you can see her right behind them. It's conserved her energy. It's many of these athletes will have their eyes on the Olympics in Tokyo in two years from now. Mengisha, well, has lost her place to countrywoman Naftamnash Tasfai Helu. Three more laps. And this will be over. No matter what the outcome of this race might be. All the ladies who finish. Can applaud themselves. And be sure they are heroes. For land and country. A 10-kilometer run in sweltering heat. And the two Kenyans almost giving you the impression they just got here. Be interesting to see the dash to the very end. You can expect the intensity to increase. Now that there are two more laps to go. Salome Inirarukundo, the Rwandan who had set the pace early on. She established a 15, nearly 20 meter gap between herself and the rest of the field. She'd probably run herself aground in the process. Is the tall figure of Nawawuma, Alice Nawawuma, in front as we speak. Stacy Indiwa. He looks every inch that you could get this as the two ladies come right back to get past. Fana Salem again. And into the home straight they come. 
for the penultimate time. And the challenge is on. Indiwa goes ahead and anticipated that. She's in gold medal position now. Alice Nawawuma just behind her. But the gap is beginning to increase between the two. But either of them could still have it. Stacey Ndiwa. 2018 Commonwealth Games silver medalist in Australia. This left her countrywoman in the cold. Ali's first 10,000 uh, meter at the 2016 African Championships in Durban. And two-time All-African Games medalist with one gold and one bronze. It would seem she will settle for a silver today. It's Stacey Indiwa. What a run. What a final push. And the gap just keeps increasing. Stacey Indiwa, 2018 Commonwealth Games champion. Commonwealth Games silver medalist. It goes to ground. It doesn't matter now. She's done what has to be done. It's gold for Stacey Ndiwa. In a time of 31 minutes, 30.98 seconds, she can barely stand. She can barely stand. Oh, goodness me. And taking bronze. Ethiopian Haftamnash Tasfai Heilu It has ended It's yet another gold for Kenya And a silver for good measure Ethiopia would have to settle for bronze. It caused the Kenyans heartbreak in the men's race. Not this time, the women say. Congratulations yet again to all of Kenya. Gold and silver in the 10,000 meter women's race now we continue to celebrate the Kenyan who has achieved success in the women's 10,000 meter final the Commonwealth Games silver medal as we just uh, pan our gaze to the women's javelin throw final here at the Stewart Kachukakashi Stadium. The venue for the 2018 African Senior Athletics Championship. That throw from the lady from Mauritius, Selma Sharon Rosson. This is another Kenyan. Uh, Demacline Nyakeruri. She will have the opportunity to throw towards that sector. That all will be documented. It's a spear of about 2.5 meters. And here she comes, the Kenyan lady. And it's not entirely disappointing. White flag. And the Nicole showing how she affects the step. Well, unlike other throwing events, the uh, javelin has got just a straight jacket technique. The spare must be held and thrown overhead over the sh at the shoulder, so it's not much like. Erasmus 
round shot put uh, this cost and hammer this is entirely what you might like to call one dimensional the throw from the ugandan athlete doesn't look satisfied with it no one would even if it's going to be recorded well you're still watching the live broadcast on quest of free sport the 2018 africa senior athletics championship ongoing the steven kachukakashi stadium in delta state the continental event uh, last took place in Durban, South Africa but here in Nigeria that was quite central from the leader of the pack one like that Kenichi He's got a, a personal best of 58 points, 1-5. He's South African, also ever-present, Joanne. So I get in a bit... Uh, Victorially, like a battle between the South African the Joanne and the Nigerian one, Nagai Kelechi. This woman's a javelin draw final here. The women's fourth attempt. Here is one I fancy. It's you next Saturday, say Gilo from Ethiopia. Spear must be held and thrown overhead. And not much a fanciful work done. That's a perfect show. Then eventually, will count in her favour. The Africans have done well when it comes to the World Championships in this sport. A 40.68 uh, this time, talking about Patra, the Ethiopian. And she does it this time, Lucia Bar, the lady from Uganda. This is Gilo could do 40.68, then certainly there might be a room for the Ugandan lady Lucy Ebar to to pass it. Steve Malian. Anifin Traore. Very first attempt was uh, 45.65. There's been subsequent improvement from her uh, in this. Oh. Not entirely bad. Fans still wrapped in the excitement. Watching the 2018 games here in Asano Delta State. Been an interesting tournament. Obviously, mad by certain logistics problems, but again, a joy scene. The tournaments carry on. And the athletes who came with uh, faces not too happy, smiling at the end of it. The Mauritius athlete would take the next throw. And bounce distance. Selma Sharon Rossen.
Yeah, right to the door, opportunity for the Kenyan. Uh, Demacline in Yakureri. This one who's primed for a longer throw. It's a wonderful hop then. Oh, something about being overly confident, maybe not. She will be given an opportunity for a return this time around. She must get it. That's going to be really good. It's not entirely what she wants. Disappointed. So the women's continue to contest in battle for the gold medal of the javelin draw final. That's Josephine Lolo Joyce from Uganda. That's going to get a good flight, but the distance might just let her down. Mentioned how dominant the South Africans are, not many of them, but what representation in terms of medals 46.58 meters, uh, fifth attempt. The Nigerian Owanaga Kilechi. She's uh, the favourite to take gold in this event, and holy smoke, that was, that was a brilliant throw from her, and it's kind of terrified. It's an African who comes up next. That was really good. And the fact she gives absolutely no smile after her throw just tells you how completely focused there is. Worthy of a gold medal, certainly. Yeah. Anyone's going to be able to trump that draw, and that person might require some bionic hands. They're getting set for the men's relay. It's the 4 by 400 meters. The 4 by 400 men a relay. So you can see on the screen the graphics just identifying with the nations competing Cameroon, Tunisia, Nigeria, Ethiopia, Swaziland, South Africa and Botswana. Should be interesting, certainly. And so we get set. The four by four hundred meter relay race. The first of two heats. A good, strong finish for South Africa's athlete as they complete the first 400 meter circuit. South Africa establishes a seemingly unassailable lead. The rest of the field will have to push. And into the 
home straight as the gap begins to close. The Nigerian team also in this one. It's qualification for the finals tomorrow that these athletes seek. And South Africa have lost their leadership position. Nigeria in third as we speak. South Africa fighting back to reclaim first place. The third battle on exchange. Botswana and South Africa in the lead. Nigeria in third. South Africa's lead, extensive lead, cut down to size. Botswana got back in front. But as the lads approach the final button exchange in the final turn of this third circuit, it's South Africa who maintain their top position. Nigeria fighting for third. Best three in each of the two heats we're expecting qualify automatically. The time is three minutes, 5.05 seconds. An interesting run, the South Africans huddling together to congratulate themselves. They've taken the 4x100 meters relay. Be interesting to see whether they'll claim this again tomorrow. Strong run as we prepare for heat two. Just as we do, the ladies carry on in the women's javelin uh, trail final. This time around, it's the Kenyan uh, Demo Klein and Yakueri with the beep number 305, uh, 307 actually. Uh, she always gets the trail, but the last attempt was quite disappointing. Her first foot let her down, and the, the second attempt was no attempt this time around. She gets uh, 43.24 meters, uh, sixth and final attempt. The Ugandan lady with uh, an opportunity for an even better throw. Oh, just step there on the line, but it's going to be permissive, certainly. The <laughs> official. Uh, doing what needs to be done. But just Finn Lolo Joyce, the... And we can then with the masterful throw. As so we get it for the second of the men's 4x400. Qualifier at uh, 48.60 for Josephine Lolo Joyce. The Nigerian who's done 50. Here she comes, Wanaga Kelechi, and the crowd continue to cheer. That's going to be even more disappointing this one compared to her previous tour. She will applaud. The fans have shown tremendous support to her course to being a gold medalist here in Nigeria. Of course, she is back home. There's nothing as delightful as winning in front of your fans. But as someone who is going to give us stiff competition, a South African, Joanne Van Dyke. Well, the last throw for the Nigerian, 51.55, her sixth and final throw. 55 meters and the South African
If she doesn't surpass the 53.67 on the Nigerian set previously, it could be all over. And that certainly looks really good. Oh, that's sensational throw. That's going to count and uh, just waiting for confirmation. Does seem that it would surpass Wanaga Kelechi's uh, sixth attempt. A big question if he could surpass a fifth try. That's a good throw from Joan. The South African who is competing in this women's javelin throw. And that was 53.29. But the Nigeria would take gold. The South African would take silver. That was really close. And again, it's going to be the Nigerian anthem in just a, in just a bit. That could... It was hot and mouth moment for Mwanaga Kelechi, who's uh, 53.67, seems to be the reason why she will uh, celebrate this gold medal. And South Africa's uh, Joanne Van Dijk will uh, partially be comfortable with the silver medal. That was a brilliant throw and great competition from the athletes. So we are uh, still getting set for the men's 4x400 meter relay. She will continue to celebrate. The Nigerian athlete, whose personal best is 58 points, 15 meters, and her season's best, 55.02. And she's picked up the gold medal in the women's javelin throw, and it completes that event, the 20. 18 African Senior Athletics Championship. So it's gold for Nigeria. The women's javelin throw final. But back to Femi, who will take us through the second hit in the men's 4x400 meter relay. Indeed, Emmanuel is the very last qualifier in the entire 21st African Senior Athletics Championships here. When we return one last time tomorrow, it will be all about the finals. It's an interesting piece, Algeria in lane two, Zimbabwe in lane three, Namibia in lane four, Senegal in lane five, Sudan in lane six, Kenya in lane seven. The men's 4x400 meters relay qualifier. The top three in this second and final heat will join the top three in the first heat. And that includes the Nigerian relay team. It managed a third place finish. And joining the six automatically qualified countries will be two of the fastest overall beyond the six yet another medal awarding ceremony for the 10,000 meter run The Ethiopian of Tamnesh Tasfai Helu picking bronze and for silver it's Alice Nawawuma. was first in the 10,000 meters at the 2016 African Championships in Durban, South Africa. She's a two-time All-African Games medalist. She has won gold and won bronze. Today, she settles for silver, the 21st African Senior Athletics Championship. And here is your overall champion,
Stacy Indiwa. Is come here and done the job for her country. 2018 Commonwealth Games silver medalist in Australia. She would celebrate this feat. Gold for Kenya, silver for Kenya, bronze for Ethiopia, the national anthem of Kenya. Congratulations to Stacy Ndiwa of Kenya. And the time of 31 minutes, 30.98 seconds. It's not a record by many respects. But considering the weather conditions here, you would be right to doff your heart. You can tell the extent of the rigor and you notice that her movement is gingerly she gave it everything she had the joy and sweetness of victory that will be her major compensation congratulations yet again to Sao to Kenya as we switch to the four by 400 meter relay second heat algeria in lane two zimbabwe in lane three namibia in lane four senegal in lane five sudan in lane six kenya in lane seven the south africans have taken the first heat Botswana have finished second and Nigeria third. Here we go for the starting blocks. Here we go, Algeria in the infield, but look out for the Kenyans. On the outfield, as the lads push themselves all the way, approaching the turn and into the home straight. For the first pass in exchange, it's Kenya in second, pushing, and Kenya will arrive first. The exchange is done, Kenya away, Senegal fighting, but Kenya go ahead now. Sudan had put up a strong run. It's not work. Well, that little bit of detail where you are allowed to cross lanes after 200 meters of the, the second lap, the second exchange. And it's Kenya pushing forward. Namibia trying to ask the question. Kenya's third change looks good. Away they go. Algeria right behind them. Namibia in pursuit.
And you see the push of Senegal. It's all Kenya now. As we hit the home run. For one final exchange. Kenya all the way. South Africa had established such a massive gap in the first heat only to be closed down Algeria's final button exchange is disappointing slows them down just a bit it's um, Algeria right behind Namibia coming behind but look at Senegal go Senegal moves into third position it's Kenya for go for the first position here as we wait for the final of this race Kenya pushing all the way Algeria pushing hard Senegal behind them but the third place could go to any of the three behind these men Kenya certainly for first place Algeria will follow in spite of the push Senegal will take third place So it's Kenya, Algeria, and Senegal. 30 point. Three minutes, 5.53 seconds. A tad slower than the, the first heat which ended at 3 minutes, 5.05 seconds. Good job for these lads. The Namibians pushed and pushed and pushed. We'll have to wait and see the two extra qualifiers. We do know that by virtue of these results, our automatic qualifiers are South Africa, Kenya, Botswana, Algeria, Namibia, well, I just threw that in. And Senegal will join automatically as well as Nigeria. So you have your six from Heat 1, South Africa, Botswana and Nigeria. Heat 2. Kenya, Algeria, Senegal. There are opportunities for Namibia and the rest of that field. But a very strong, strong uh, first heat. They mean it will go down to the little margins. And that concludes our activity for day four of the 21st African Senior Athletics Championships. And as we prepare for the grand finale tomorrow, I want to say thank you for joining us for this broadcast. And for our friends and fans in Kenya, just to let you know that the Kwesi Highlights show will run on KBC Kenya. Kenyans can follow all the highlights on KBC Kenya. Congratulations to the Kenyans for multiple victories and successes. The KBC being the Kenya Broadcasting Corpor Corporation. And so it comes down to the final day of multiple multiple finals and as some of Nigeria's most popular music artists take the center stage flavor on your screen that's actually uh, African China it looks uh, pretty much like flavor in 2018 <laughs> again as a man who made uh, 
but for hey. the, differ the difference in height. But all the top Nigerian artists have been built to perform. Flavor, one of them. It's an impressive four days we've had. One more day to go. Once again, the broadcast coming to you courtesy of Kwese Free Sports and all across Africa, the Kwese Television, Kwese TV platform. Interesting day of activities. Six finals decided today. 11 decided yesterday as we go into the day of exclusively finals so tomorrow you can Expect the finals of the 20 kilometer walks for men and women very early in the morning. Our expert analysts will tell you a whole lot more and when we uh, join them. And also see the final of the women's 3000 steeple chase. There's a whole lot to expect tomorrow to anticipate. For us, it's been um, really a busy day. We expect it to be busier tomorrow. And the schedule ensures. The coverage starts very, very early. It's early at 7 to accommodate the 20 kilometer road work. You can make that. Twenty meters in terms, in terms of the measurement. Impressive attendance for the twenty-first African Senior Athletics Championship so far. We had a massive crowd on the opening day. We expect another massive crowd when it all winds down tomorrow. Uh, the days in between, we've seen the Asaba fans come in here to join us and have fun. From us here, from the commentary box, Femi Obong Daniels, Manuel Etim, Namdi Kuba, we thank you very much for being a part of the ride today as we hand over to our legendary team of commentators and analysts led by Louis Johnson. And of course, including Arto, Bolton, and any Udobo. Have a wonderful day as we return you to the studios.
journey is to walk on the path only for fearless adventures. There is only one way to be a conqueror of all. It's to march forward courageously. GAC Motor, GS8, born to conquer. GAC Motor. In the beautiful world of sports, there is magic, there is passion, excitement, and not least of all, there is business. At Nilaya Sports Management, that's who we are, a sports management and marketing company with a motivation to build lives, help sportsmen and women achieve sustainable financial success throughout their careers. At Nilaya Sports Management, our operations are balanced on the tripod of professionalism, transparency, and integrity. This has helped us negotiate some of the biggest deals in the history of sports in Nigeria, both on and off track, working with some of the biggest names in sports, like IAAF, the Confederation for African Athletics, and the Athletics Federation of Nigeria. Talk to us today for sports management, sports sponsorship, consultancy, sports procurement, sports branding, and whatever it is that involves sports. We are the Lion Sports Management, and we are ready to talk to you. You are welcome. Welcome to Nigeria's home of good food, tasty refreshment, and healthy nourishment. Prepared under the strictest sanitary conditions at Right Foods Limited, we pay careful attention to every detail because we know in creating the perfect meal, everything is important. That is why we ensure everything is done right and no standards are dropped because we know you, our dear customers, deserves only the healthiest and tastiest and most importantly, the most fantastic refreshment your body can have every day. So, welcome to our world. Enjoy our variety of great tasting refreshment that will excite your taste buds, fuel your stomach, and activate your body all day long. Welcome to Right Foods Limited. Truly world class. Proudly Nigerian. Hello everybody and welcome back. Evening has fallen here in Asaba. We are trackside, of course, in our Quest Sports Studios. You can hear the festivities going on behind us, celebrating another day, great day of track and field action here at the African Championships. Lewis, along with Otto and Eni, we're going to get you through the highlights of the day. We had six finals, two on the track and then four in the field, and we're looking forward to wrapping this day up and then getting ready for a closing day tomorrow, which is going to be an awesome way to end these African Senior Championships. Okay, guys, let's get to it. We had a great day. We had some warm weather, about 85 degrees, humidity somewhere in the 60s. That didn't stop everybody from performing, right? So we'll go right to our first event on the track. The first final, we had the men's 110-meter hurdles. Otto, let's go through that one. Yep, the competitors lined up from Egypt, Nigeria, South Africa, Senegal, Liberia, all eight gentlemen taking to the blocks. The favorite, Alkana from South Africa. He is in lane six. So as we look at this replay, it's he's third from the left. He was off to the early lead. You see uh, Oyeyeni of Nigeria also giving chase. But it wasn't close at the end. Big win for Alkana of South Africa. Big. Yes, he improves the outstanding tournament the South Africans are having. Gold after gold after gold, and it seems that it's a team that was very well prepared for this. Right. Yep, so 13.51 the winning time. And as you said, in a South Africa continues Con to change dominate yes, yes. these championships. And no different here in the one center. And amazing to see in that race just the amount of distance he had between everybody else because it's not often in the 110 meter hurdle race that you see that type of dominance. So again, big performance by South Africa picking up another gold medal. Okay, the other final on the track we had today was the women's 10,000 meters, 25 laps of the track. And I referenced the weather a few moments ago. It was in the 80s and the humidity was pretty high. I remember seeing some uh, folks out on the track offering water to the athletes as they went around the track. But uh, as the race developed, uh, 25 laps, of course, in the end, it was two Kenyans who really 
uh, took the lead and then made the race what it was. Early on, we saw this group of 13 athletes, uh, sort of a, a slower pace, uh, trying to feel each other out. Of course, 25 laps is a long time. There with the uh, clock showing the bell, 16, 15 to go. The lace continued to begin to see the athletes string out just a little bit, and we saw Nawawama begin to take the lead. There she is in the lead with the uh, red jersey, and right behind her, her countrywoman, Stacy Ndiwa. As the race continued to develop, it was Ndiwa to your left and Nawawama on the right, broken down to a group of four. You saw the water out there on the track trying to help the athletes get through the hot conditions. And as we came to the final laps, it was uh, Nawawama and uh, Ndiwa who really pulled away and began to show that dominance. Staying relaxed was Nawawama. She did all the work, really, because it was Ndiwa at the end who would make this one move with about 300 meters to go. Again, no one taking any water because the race was almost finished. And look at that gap. Look at the distance as Stacy and Diwa wins the gold for Kenyan. Of course, she falls to the track in fatigue. The silver went to Nawawama of Kenya, and then Mengesha of Ethiopia finished with the bronze. So hot conditions out here to contest 25 laps to 10,000 meters, but I thought they gave a great performance. What did you guys yeah, say? Yeah, you know, remember yesterday I was saying, I was looking forward to this Ethiopia versus Kenya. Well, right. that never really materialized. It was actually Kenya versus Kenya. But uh, in the end, um, a great race by all ladies, given the conditions. It was not conducive to great 10K running today. Yeah, and you could see from the 16 laps, 16 laps ago, they had already um, formed a single fire from being bunched up. So you saw that we had a different class of athletes. Some that were very good and some that were just average. And the world class ones were there, but I think just about two or three of them. I wonder what happened to the third Kenyan though. She dropped out about four laps ago. Right, Must right. have been an injury or so, maybe the weather got too hard yeah. in humidity. So as the party continues behind us, so do the results and uh, replays from today. We want to go to the field now. We have four finals there. Guys, let's begin with the men's hammer, which was an Egyptian sweep. Sorry to steal your thunder on that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's nothing much to talk about, but the Egyptians have had this record of having a throwing school in Egypt. And they've had world champions and um, Olympic champions in, in the discus and in the, in the hammer. So it was nothing, nothing very extraordinary. There's a bronze medal throw, and that's the that goes over there almost at 60, 66 meters. He, he's not looking too impressed about it, but um, obviously it's, it's going to go to the same co um, country. Islam t takes it in a silver medal throw, and that is a throw. Above, sends the hammer out, and he crosses, he crosses like just barely legal throw. And the gold medalist, um, defending champion, the defending champion is going to throw next, and there he is, El Gamel. El Gamel um, very experienced. He won the silver in um, the World Championships and he's gone there, sends the hammer over and wow. way across the line. I mean, that was so, gone, wasn't it? <laughs> he's a class, a different class of the rest and it's just a, an Egyptian affair, national affair here at the African Championships. You know, it's interesting when you see a country with one established star starts to rise and everybody else starts to follow. We had this in Trinidad when out of nowhere, Kashan Walcott wins the Olympic gold medal in the javelin, right? Yeah. Now all of a sudden in Trinidad you have all oh, these javelin Trinidad throwers. Trinidad. We just won the CAC. All of a sudden we have, every, it's a culture that it creates. Yeah. I think it's an inspiration to people when they see a champion coming yes. from their country. Right. So the men's hammer, Egyptian sweep, that's something to remember from these African championships. Okay, continuing on with the other finals that we saw today, the men's pole vault was contested. That was a final, six athletes. Let's look through this one, Eddie. Which event? So, well, we'll see the highlights from, from there. And the pole vault, we had just six athletes, just five athletes going through. It was always going to be a very, very one-sided affair because the pole vault is not a very well um, competitive event in some, in some countries. So the Tunisian athletes there, almost a class act from the rest, it clears the bar at, um, to, win, to win the gold. And it's um, Tunisia sandwiching the South Africans, Tunisia gold, sand, and South Africa silver, and Tunisia bronze. It was always going to be between the Tunisian and the South Africa in a technical event like this, while the rest of Africa are way behind on the pole vaults. And then we go to the gold medal jump. Uh, after we see this, probably one more time. 
and this was good enough for Silva. Quite impressive, quite impressive the jump. I think there are a lot more world-class pole vaulters around in Africa. We just have to get the coaches and them together. I believe so, and that's a gold medal jump. How spectacular, his technique was very, very good. Good speed, good technique over the bar, and he loves that, doesn't he? So, excellent competition in the men's pole vault. They had great conditions and a lot of great support out there on the field as they did their thing. Okay, next uh, final we had was the men's triple jump contested right behind us when the sun was still up. So let's look at that and uh, see the athletes who were competing in the men's triple jump. A lot of great energy right here next to the stadium, which is next to the stand, so they could really feel the energy from the fans kind of cheering them on and get that rhythmic clapping going. So looking at the start list and the best jumpers in the men's triple jump. So this was a very close affair with actually not much in between the winner and fifth and sixth place. Athletes from Burundi, South Africa, Algeria. And I think that's Burkina Faso. Mauritius, yep. right. Cameroon, Namibia. But in the end, it turned out to be Zango from Burundi jumping 17 meters 11. Mokoena from South Africa, 1683 in second. And Triki of Algeria, 16.78. The wind was behind them for the most part, but only Triki got a significant tailwind, 1.1 for his bronze medal effort. So that was the men's triple jump final. Right. This is um this is disappointing for the Nigerians because we have won this event in the last three um, African championships, but um the um, Nigerian champion then Tosi Oke from the uh, British born has um really more or less uh, retired after the Commonwealth Games this year. So it's been a lack of succession plan within the um, event. So. It's a big loss for when we went in the whole, looking at the medal table at the end, I'm sure the Nigerians will point to this and say, this should have been a goal for Nigeria. And it's something that will take them back to the drawing board and think about why they didn't work out this time and maybe get back there for next year's African Championships. Okay, our final result, uh, final event on the field, that was a final, was the women's javelin throw. That just finished a few moments ago. And in that one, we saw a great moment when it was the African athlete, uh, from, I'm sorry, the Nigerian athlete, Kalechi, who did well. But let's take a look at these throws as we build up to that gold medal. Yes, this is Joyce from Uganda. And her best throw, 51 meters 33. Here is a silver medalist, Van Dyke from South Africa. She would get the spear out to 53.72. But it really was no contest. Here's your winner, Kalechi of Nigeria with a big throw, 56.96 to win the contest by over three meters and the crowd on that side of the stadium had a good time <laughs> cheering her on as well as for her victory lap so another gold medal in the column for nigeria well this is in territory that we're not very good we used to see nigeria winning in the technical field events we're more of seeing nigerians winning the sprint events running the quarter mile but i think that is getting away from us now and as the South Africans and the Kenyans go into the territory of the Sprint, it's also very fair that the Nigerians start going into the territories of the Truths. Right. So again, that's great to see Nigeria pick up that gold medal here at home uh, in that event. And so as we wrap up the day and look at the events that we had, we want to look again now to tomorrow, the final day of competition, where we will see 13 finals, including the 4 by 400 meter relays. That should bring the house down, right? Then of close to closing ceremonies. As we move to the final day, what is it that we're looking for in terms of really the ultimate crescendo to close this meet out and everybody to say, this has been an awesome experience? Well, it's going to be Sunday. Hopefully we'll have the biggest crowd that we've had uh, for these entire championships. For me, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, Marie Jose Talou yeah. from Cote d'Ivoire because she has been so dominant these championships. She already has the gold in the 100. Uh, she's already helped uh, Ivory Coast to get that silver in the 4x1 relay. And the 200 has been a, a real revelation for me this year with her. She hasn't been undefeated, but she's run a lot of good 200 meter races this year. So I'll be looking forward to that. And as you said, that 4x4 is going to shut the house down because everybody loves a great mile relay, as you know. Well, I do know that. <laughs> Unfortunately, the last event of the day, the 4x4 men probably might not see um, a very, very strong Nigerian side. We'll see between Botswana and Kenya. 
uh, Botswana and Kenya looking for that. But the Nigerian women are sure bets to win the 4x4 four four uh, right. ladies. Uh, but most especially, we are going to see, not only are we going to see Talu, we are going to see the finals of the 800 meters. And uh, you are about to steal mine, exactly. I was saying, you sprinters can have your sprint thing, but I want to see the 800, <laughs> of course, with Castor Semenya, who's already won the 400 here, and then she'll step back up to where she normally is to run the 800 final. I'm looking forward to that. So, guys, it's been a great first four days. Looking forward to this last day, right? It's going to yeah, be awesome. Day. Looking forward. I think it's going to be amazing. It's absolutely. been a great championship so far, yeah. and I think that the last day was sort of Put that, put that cherry on top. It really has been an amazing championship. As we, one last final thought, as we look toward uh, tomorrow, we look at how well South Africa is doing. Is there any chance there's a Wade Van Niekerk Wade here? Has he done something special, do you think, for the athletes of South Africa to really improve their level of competition? And maybe we're seeing that here. Can we give him a little credit? You oh, think? No, there's, I don't think there's any question about it. When, I mean, Wade Van Niekerk had arguably the performance of the entire 2016 Rio Olympics. Right. If you are back at home or you are on your way up as a South African, you look at that performance and you think, this man is from where I'm from. Look at what he's done. I am also capable of doing that, having that kind of performance. So I don't think it's any doubt that some of what you're seeing with uh, Makwala and some of these other guys, that is, it's, so much of it is based on what the South Africans have been able to do. Right. Well, we're looking forward to closing out this championship in great form. And of course, the party's going now. Wait till the party tomorrow after everything is done. So for all of our colleagues who you've listened to throughout the day and for everybody behind the scenes making sure this, this show comes to fruition, and for my colleagues sitting here right now, I want to thank you all for being with us today. We look forward to our final day of competition right here on Quest Day Sports. And until then, we will see you on the final day. Night, everybody. revolutionized home entertainment. Watch on up to four devices. Subscribe at these stores. Quisse, Beyond TV. Thinking of banking in Africa? Think Zenith. In today's fast-moving, fast-changing world, you need a financial partner that understands your unique expectations. A bank with presence in major financial centers across the world. With the enabling platform to facilitate seamlessly, whenever, wherever, however. A bank with best-in-class financial solutions from a superb combination of technology and human touch. For easy, fast, and secure banking that creates real value. Turning dreams into reality is now in your hands. People. Technology. Service. Zenith Bank. In your best interest. Welcome to Nigeria's home of good food. Tasty refreshment and healthy nourishment. Prepared under the strictest sanitary conditions at Right Foods Limited. We pay careful attention to every detail because we know in creating the perfect meal, everything is important. That is why we ensure everything is done right and no standards are dropped because we know you, our dear customers, deserves only the healthiest and tastiest and most importantly, the most fantastic refreshment your body can have every day. So, welcome to our world. Enjoy our variety of great tasting refreshment that will excite your taste buds, fuel your stomach and activate your body all day long. Welcome to Right Foods Limited. Truly world class, proudly Nigerian. When you've conquered the peak of the world, you will discover the real opponent is no one but yourself. In order to break the limits, you have to look beyond the limits. In order to break through, you have to let go. A real journey is to walk on the path only for fearless adventures. There is only one way to be a conqueror of all. It's to march forward courageously. 
GAC Motor. GS8. Born to conquer. GAC Motor.